They inspired generations with the dream of flight, but you won't find their names in many history books, for these were the black pioneers of aviation, almost forgotten because of racial prejudice. Now an exhibition called Black Wings is on view at the Smithsonian Institution's National Air and Space Museum, tracing the many contributions of black Americans to the history of flight. Museum curator Von Hardesty says that the segregation of the 1920s kept most blacks out of aviation. Well, first they had to face the general attitude that existed, uh, namely that blacks lacked the aptitude to fly. They just couldn't fly. People didn't feel that they had the uh, innate ability to function in a technical field like that. Then secondly, they had to encounter, whenever they tried to obtain lessons or uh, enter into an aviation school or take any kind of aeronautical training, the built-in uh, barriers that existed in American society at the time. But some blacks overcame those barriers and went on to distinguished flying careers. Bessie Coleman traveled to France to learn to fly and became America's first licensed black pilot. C. Alfred Anderson piloted a series of long-distance flights, including a groundbreaking tour of the Caribbean islands. And William Powell not only became a skilled pilot, he also started his own aviation school. But the achievements of black aviators really came to the fore during World War II with the success of the Army Air Corps' first black unit, the 99th Fighter Squadron. In missions over North Africa and Italy, the 99th Squadron and other members of the 332nd Fighter Group won the Distinguished Unit Citation and numerous individual honors. But success over Europe did not translate into glory back home. Lou Purnell won the Distinguished Flying Cross as a member of the 99th Squadron. When I came back from my first tour of duty to New York, I was hauled into the headquarters there, the MP headquarters, for, quote, impersonating an officer. They had never seen a black with wings and captain's bars and combat ribbons on. Today, of course, blacks are involved in every phase of flight, but the progress toward full participation continues to be slow. For example, there are now between 350 uh, or so black airline pilots out of a total airline pilot population of 55,000. That's less than, uh, you know, very much less than 1% of the total uh, uh, pilot population. Uh, but I do see a, an improvement for the future, and I also think that a large part of that improvement depends upon the aspirations of uh, young black men and women, you know, who decide to select aerospace as a field of endeavor. The legacy of America's black wings, here at the Smithsonian's National Air and Space Museum in Washington, D.C.